my friends. We're back. Uh, Kiwi Morris and uh, my name's Clinton. I'm with Remedy Live. Kiwi and I have done a lot of great events together with the Get School Tour, and we're continuing a conversation that we have about reconciliation and, and race, but, but more important about relationships and developing those relationships. Uh, and we want to hear uh, from you any questions that you've got. Kiwi, how can people watching this submit their questions to us? Uh, first, guys, in the comment section on the YouTube, uh, comment questions that you have about um, current events or how we can bring rec reconciliation um, to this world right now. Um, in another way, we'll be posting a picture on the Get School Tours Instagram. Comment below any question. All questions are accepted, and we will talk about them on video for you guys. Perfect. Great. So, um, so. I've got a question for you, Kivi. We, we, uh, we, we talked a little bit last time we were together about your life experiences, um, what you've gone through. Um, mm -hmm. Dream a dream for what you want to see for the future uh, of your son, your young, your young boy. There, what, what do you, what do you want for him, and really for yourself and for your loved ones mm -hmm. to experience uh, in the days and in, in the weeks, months, years ahead of you? Oh man, that's man. I can go on and on about that, but I want to see a world where everyone is unified, and I want I want my boy to grow up not only loving himself, but loving the people around him. Um, but I also want him to be aware that everyone isn't nice. Everyone isn't going to learn about the things that hurt other people. Um, and uh, I just I want my boy to grow up knowing that his father um, fought for change. Um, his father stood for equality and um, his, his father um, ultimately was for the people, you know, and they had hard, hard conversations like this. that helped us build. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to be the example for my little boy right now. So, man, I love that. It's great. I love that little dude. Yeah, I, and I know you do. We both we both have sons, and we want our sons to be committed to indeed loving other people and and not being afraid to have conversations. But but also understanding the importance of being rooted in who you are mm -hmm. and what you were created mm -hmm. to be. Um, so another question I have for you um, is. I understand that for for decades, and, and we could probably go back even further, but for decades, people have protested uh, mm -hmm. around equality, civil rights. Um, and then we recently, in these last couple of weeks, have seen protesting turning into rioting. Um, and I've seen some YouTube videos about this, but I'd appreciate your perspective on on the rioting side of this, you know, why, why is, why are there so many and, and not just people of color, but even folks, white folks, brown folks, Hispanics, all kinds of people out there causing damage to our country through rioting. Why is that such an important part of this conversation? I think the rioting, man, um, is, is very important. I think the rioting and looting, um, comes from a place of hurt um, and people not knowing how to channel out their anger, frustration, and sadness. So it's like in a land where we say black people um, are African-Americans or anybody never had an equal opportunity to go get it, the looting and everything, I feel like that was one of people's like, man, this is my one shot to get a Gucci belt or this is my one shot to go in the store because it's so hard for me to obtain it. And I'm not, I don't condone in looting, rioting, none of that. But I feel like I can feel the pain of those people who were doing that because it's like our voices weren't enough. Now that we break the economy and we hurt the economy, now you hear us. So mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. you know, we see buildings, we see Target, Walmart, all those things ran into. It's like the mindset of those people. Even I've talked to some people who went down there and and rioted and stuff. The mindset that they that they gave me is if we can't have it, why should everybody else have it? And 
Wow. You know, so, and I'm like, why does it even have to be like that? Why, like, why does it have to be like, if we can't have it, they can't have it. So, um, yeah, man, I think to feel the pain of where they're coming from, not saying rioting and our looting is, is bad, but what do you do when your voices don't, when your voices aren't enough or, you know, when, when you haven't been heard for hundreds of years and the injustice is right in our face, what do you do? So we tear, they tear the city, they tear the city up. Now in the city is like, what do you need us to do? to help the community. So now you see, you know, flags coming down, you see statues coming down, you see, you know, conversations of like equality, but they've been asking for that for years. And yeah. to, in, order, in, in order for someone to hear, now we have to tear buildings down, it shouldn't be like that. But so I, I kind of feel that mm. and I'm like, okay, enough is enough on both sides, but to 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 kind of answer that, I know I know people who are down there, and explain that to me, just like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I I've thought um, I I have an anger problem. I'll admit that I have I have a problem <laughs> where my temper can flare quickly. And what I've learned to do with my anger is is to talk out why I'm angry, and it helps kind of cool me down. And I'm I'm wondering. Uh, you're right. This this rioting is fueled out of a deep sense of anger of 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 centuries of injustice. And mm -hmm. if if violence wakes us up and shakes us up to say, you know, I'm going to get what I deserve because mm -hmm. anger is really about a selfishness. I want what I want. Yeah. <laughs> um, rather rather than l letting that anger be about about violence or destruction what if we let that anger be a righteous anger that mm -hmm. just says we are not going to let this continue i am going to do everything like you are everything i can as a leader to have this conversation as awkward as it might be and you know we are starting to see the beginning and i don't know where it's going to go we don't know the future but we're starting to see the beginning of the way it's it's changing uh, police departments to change the way they behave with uh, the way that they, they interact with everybody, but definitely the way they interact with people of color. And I think we're, we're going to see a pruning there of, of, the, of those people that need to be removed from power because of the way that they've acted or the way that they think, the way that they speak. Um, so, you know, when I ask you what you want for your son and his future, what I want for my son is that uh, that they they know that um, they they experience a world where uh, people in leadership lead justly and lead mm -hmm. ethically and lead in a way that says we're not going to allow these people to be mistreated of any color, but especially in light of what we've gone through, people mm -hmm. people of color. Um, so. Uh, I've been I've been doing a lot of talking as I usually do with my big mouth. What, what questions do you have uh, for me, or challenges do you have for me? We, we're we're friends. We've we've toured together. We've been in vans driving down highways for long periods of time <laughs> together. Uh, what what kind of challenges or questions do you have for me um, today? Um, I would say um, a question is how can um, uh, we tackle the overall problem and bring it to bring it to the forefront um, to create, I guess, in a way, um, how can we break the tension between races when we tour? Like, of course, people aren't thinking like we're coming in about to talk about, you know, race racism. But how can we bring to the light that? equality isn't always equal for some people. Um, how can we do that more? And I know a person of color for me um, and being on the team, like I love hard conversations like this because hard conversations stretch us, but it also grows us. Like mm -hmm. having this right here is just, it, it makes my day. 
and it makes me feel good because it's like we're both growing in the sense of like I may not know everything about you know what it's like in your culture or you may not know everything about my culture but how can we come together and um when we tour how can we um how can we bring light to uh the where uh how can we bring awareness to what's needed to be talked about talked about um from a mental yeah. standpoint and from a a, a a race a race standpoint well i'll tell you um one of the things that research shows us is that if 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 a person is discriminated against uh for long periods of time uh the the brain begins to suffer um, in translating someone's self-worth and self-identity. Uh, it is safe mm -hmm. to say that um, people, um, whether they be uh, people of color or they be ethnically, racially different than the Caucasian white person in America, they have been discriminated against. And so I think we have to up our game with the Get School Tour. Um, I think that I think that you and I uh, and me more than you even need to say, you know, some of you in this room have not been given opportunity because of the color of your skin. And that's caused you to believe you have no value and it's caused your mental health to suffer. Mm -hmm. uh, and, yeah. you know, you, you know, us, Kiwi, we're talking about secret struggles, but this ain't a secret anymore. Yeah. It's just a struggle. <laughs> yeah. And so... You know, you are a role model in front of a group of kids, whether it's 99% white or 30% black, it don't matter. You're a, you are a role model for me mm -hmm. to say, you know, Kiwi didn't let his surroundings, Kiwi didn't let um, th those, those police when he was a kid, Kiwi didn't let those friends that try to put a gun in his hand limit his value mm -hmm. and his destiny to be a change maker. And so we just need... We need to celebrate people like you, but we also need to speak uh, uh, discrimination and yes. call it out. So that's that's what I yes. think we need to do more of this next year with the Get School Tour. I, think, I agree. I agree. I think we we come into this year just with a punch. We come into this year strong um, and just talk about the sticky topics, man. Like, And I think... We, we do, we see a lot of change and we see a lot of people, you know, grow mentally, spiritually and all that. But I think this will even take it to another level where it's like, dang, I'm glad the Get School Tour talked about that because my family suffers from that, which makes me suffer. Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, let's, uh, mm -hmm. let's uh, continue this conversation. Um, we got some hopefully some questions coming in from folks that have either watched this or learned of of this so um i look forward to you participating out there whoever has checked this video out um whether you've seen us on instagram youtube remedy live wherever uh, let's participate in this conversation and drop us a question or a comment uh, down below